the second one that we did the case study last session, and we're going to do a little recap. The Medibank, for those who missed the last session, it was compromised login credentials. So the login credentials got compromised. The criminal hacks and login credentials. The criminals hacked the login credentials someone with the high level system access and sold them to the Russian hackers, which is the rebel group, one of Russia's most active ransom gangs. So they could manage to have a ransom in Medibank environment. Unfortunately, the EDR platform could not pick it up. They have had an EDR platform, but apparently as part of one of the interviews, they have announce what kind of products they are using. That's why you never tell people what kind of products and solution you are using. The hackers, they could manage to bypass the product and use the vulnerabilities of the products or the misconfiguration of the products. So the EDR couldn't pick that up. That caused around 9.7 million EII personal identifier information and around 160,000 PHI, which is personal health information from Medibank, 300,000 from AH and 20,000 international customers from medical record perspective because the 9.7 million is for PII. Part of it is PHI, which is personal health information. So that was biggest and worse than Optus. Optus was just only PII as opposed to Medibank, which is PII for all their customers and part of their customers is PHI, which is personal health record as well. So hackers claim they stole 200 gigabytes of data. Medibank said, so the ransomware group, they are asking for money. Typical Russian ransomware group, they ask for money. The Chinese usually are after information. Medibank said they won't pay ransom demand by the rebel group and they have started just releasing the customer information into dark web, which is quite unfortunate. A lot of fit a class action against Medibank for the data breach and also the Australian Information Commissioner, they feel the case as well and the immediate cost between 25 to 35 million as a financial damage for Medibank. So up to immediate cost was 140 million, a lot of money for just not configuring the APIs in the right way, having an unauthenticated API. They could have run some penetration testing for SAS testing, that said in penetration testing for less than $50,000 to avoid that, to save that 140 million. Same as Medibank, they haven't had the right security controls in place. The EDR solution couldn't get the most out of the EDR platforms. Unfortunately, they ended up in this mess and the immediate financial damage for Medibank is around 25 to 35 million. So both Optus and Medibank caused a lot of financial damage and reputation damage. And there are also, there are open class action against both companies. It can come with regulation damage as well.